Good morning, good day, and good evening, my fellow Americans. Today, September 15th, 2024, President Trump had an attempt on his life by a would-be assassin. In this video, I will be correcting the record as to the weapon that this man has used, as I see everybody mistaking this as an AK. It was not. This appears to be an SKS with a Monte Carlo ATI furniture set on it. We also have this man's name, and we also have some history of him. Let's dive in. The article we have today is from Newsweek. Here we go. To start things off, our title, Ryan Wesley Ruth, would-be Trump assassin, fought in Ukraine, supports war. Interesting title. All right, a suspect is in custody after an apparent assassination attempt against former President Trump at his golf course in West Palm Beach, Florida. The suspect was identified as Ryan Wesley Ruth, aged 58, locals told the Associated Press. Ruth's support for Ukraine passed criminal offenses. CNN chief law enforcement and intelligence analyst John Miller reported Sunday afternoon that Ruth's social media accounts have focused on his self-proclaimed involvement in the war in Ukraine, including his supposed effort to recruit soldiers to fight in the conflict. Ruth also claimed to have fought in Ukraine. Miller said that Ruth has been living in Hawaii and was formerly a construction worker in North Carolina. The suspect has also reportedly been previously arrested eight times, mostly for minor offenses. We'll get into those offenses here as the article continues. Ruth appears to have previously spoken with the New York Times about his effort to recruit Afghan soldiers who fled the Taliban to fight in Ukraine. At the time of the report, which was published on March 25, 2023, Ruth told the Times that he had spent several months in Ukraine in 2022. A report published March 10, 2023, cited Ruth as the head of the International Volunteer Center, or IVC, in Ukraine, a private organization that works to empower volunteers and other nonprofit groups that work to enhance the distribution of, huma of humanitarian aid throughout Ukraine, according to the IVC's website. In a June 2022 interview with Newsweek Romania, Ruth spoke about his efforts to recruit volunteers for the International Legion Defense of Ukraine, a unit of Ukraine's ground forces. The question as far as why I'm here, to me, a lot of the other conflicts are gray, but this conflict is definitely black and white, Ruth said. This is about good versus evil. This is a storybook, you know, any movie we've ever watched. This is definitely evil against good. The Associated Press previously reported that Ruth was convicted in 2002 of possessing a weapon of mass destruction per online North Carolina Department of Adult Corrections records, but could not provide details about the case. A December 2002 story by Newsweek and Record in Greensboro, North Carolina, said that a man with the same name was arrested after a three-hour standoff with police. Ruth was reportedly charged with carrying a concealed weapon and possessing a weapon of mass destruction, referring to a fully automatic machine gun. Trump has been vocal about his skepticism of providing military arms to Ukraine, inspiring his party to block essential military funding to the country for months earlier this year. And then this is the issue that I have with the current media right now is this misconception that this firearm is an AK-47. This is not. I will I will show you in detail what I believe this weapon is and, and fairly solidly with some very distinct features of the weapon. But their article says, AK-47 pointed into golf course. Trump was playing golf Sunday afternoon at his Trump International Golf Course. At around 1.30 p.m., a suspect was seen poking a rifle through the fence around the perimeter of the course. Rick Bradshaw, the Palm Beach County Sheriff, said at a press conference. Now, we will come back to this and other photos here shortly. The suspect was near the fourth or fifth hole. This was one or two holes ahead of where Trump was playing. Trump was between 400 and 500 yards from the gunman, Sheriff Bradshaw said at the news conference. Suspect shot and flees. A U.S. Secret Service was one hole ahead of Trump's group on the course. He spotted the suspect in the shrubbery by the fence and immediately engaged that individual, Bradshaw said. The officer opened fire. The suspect abandoned the weapon and escaped in a Nissan SUV. A witness told police that he saw the suspect running out of the bushes, jumped into a black Nissan vehicle, Bradshaw said. The witness took a photo of the vehicle, which allowed police to track the suspect via the license plate. Suspect's weapon, GoPro, and backpacks. This is the main thing that I want to cover here for those who may not fully understand firearms and the look of these weapons. As you can see here, I would just like to point something out. This is not an AK-47. 
This is an AK-47. This is not the weapon that we see. The weapon that we see is far more similar in features and configuration to something like this. This is an SKS with ATI Monte Carlo furniture on it. I want to point out some key distinct features of this weapon and why I believe this with 99% accuracy to be the firearm that is being used. As you can see, gas tube system. Right here, you can see AK-47 sits a little higher, is a little thicker. Here, we have longer, a little bit lower to the barrel, with a very prominent front sight. If we go back to the photos that we currently have, as you can see in this photo here, so just above my head, I'll adjust this a little bit so it's a little higher up there than I am. The front sight appears to be rather prominent, and it does not appear to have this swoop back or angle that the AK-47 front sight has. We also have a longer, closer to the barrel gas system on this. We also lack, like the AK-47, a pistol grip. On this weapon, we have a stock that blends into your grip. We do have a this elongated swooping design of the magazine on this weapon. Now, SKSs do have magazines that fit the profile eerily similar to what we see in this photograph. We have a large swooping magazine that is coming from forward of the trigger. Case in point, we have a forward of the trigger magazine. On an AK, it is much more scrunched up there closer to your trigger. The firearm that Ryan Wesley Ruth used was not an AK-47. And I would encourage all news media to stop falsely calling this an AK-47 for a few reasons. Firstly, firstly, AK-47 is a term denoting a specific type of firearm, an actual AK-47. These weapons are fully automatic with select fire for semi and full auto. They are also a product that was created years after the creation of the SKS, the weapon that we will next be taking a look at. But in addition to that, even if it was an AK-47 style rifle, the vast majority of firearms that look similar to this rifle in the United States are semi-automatic. The vast majority of rifles in the United States that look like this rifle or are this rifle and SKS are semi-automatic. These are not fully automatic firearms. Once again, just to drive home the point that this is not an AK that this man used, here is our image that we are using for an SKS with the Monte Carlo furniture by ATI. Here once again is our image for the firearm that Ryan Wesley has used. Again, distinguishing features, low to the barrel gas system, front sight that does not appear to have an angled edge back towards the shooter, a long swooping magazine that is forward of where the trigger would be. The trigger is generally right in this area right here, ahead of where your fingers would be just below holding the grip. Now, to look back, we see here, trigger forward, fingers would be mainly back here, low profile gas system hugging the barrel and a front sight without the swoop that the AK-47 has that cuts back at an angle. This firearm that Ryan Wesley Ruth used is an SKS with ATI Monte Carlo furniture on it. I do not know what scope he has on it, but I think this will suffice to get the point across. Just imagine this with this for its magazine. Now to continue on with our article, Bradshaw said that the suspect had an AK-style SKS rifle with a scope, two backpacks hanging on a fence, and a GoPro camera. Here we go is a much larger image, but this definitely, yeah, this is absolutely an SKS, 100%, no doubt. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. Photos shared by law enforcement show two black bags hang from a chain link fence in the shrubbery outside the course with the firearm propped up in between them and pointed through a gap in the fence. The GoPro camera was hanging on the fence to the side. Arrest. The suspect fled in the SUV and was later apprehended in a nearby county without a weapon, law enforcement officials told AP. Police took the witness to the scene of the arrest and the witness identified the suspect, Bradshaw said. 
Terry Barbera, a spokesperson for the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, said there was only one person of interest in the investigation who was being interrogated. Barbera did not have information about the possible motive. Well, far be it from me to speculate. Now, I would make an argument based upon my own speculations that this probably has a lot to do with, number one, Donald Trump wanting to pull funding for the war in Ukraine, of which this man was a vocal and outspoken supporter of the war, at least as a war as he saw it for good. I believe that it would be motive enough in that case for a man like this. Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, said his prosecutors are working up warrant and pretrial detention applications. Ehrenberg indicated that the suspect will initially be charged at the state level, but could also be charged with federal crimes. I'm sure he will. Our filing of the warrant and charges at the state level does not preclude the federal charges that could be coming. They will be coming. I'm, I'm almost positive of that. Ehrenberg said, but in the meantime, it looks like the warrants and a pretrial detention motion will happen first. Trump's response and reaction. In an email to supporters, Trump said, There were gunshots in my vicinity, but before rumors start spiraling out of control, I want you to hear it from me first. I am safe and well. Nothing will slow me down. I will never surrender, the former president said. Trump's running mate, Ohio U.S. Senator J.D. Vance, posted on X that he spoke to the former president before the news became public and said he was amazingly in good spirits. Vance said... There was still a lot we don't know about the incident. Georgia Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a close Trump ally, posts on X, Dear Democrats and your activists in the media, is two assassination attempts on Donald Trump's life considered a threat to democracy yet? That is the end of our article here. Now, what are my thoughts on this? Well, firstly, I would have thought that even at least at Fox, somebody would be on call to identify a firearm being used. Come on, Fox, to hell. Now, as of recording this, it is currently 9.04 p.m. If somebody can find any information out there of someone who presented this information that I have of it being an SKS with Monte Carlo furniture manufactured by ATI, I would love to know about it because I cannot be the only person who has found this. Or if I am, I want some credit. Now, what can we take away from this? Well... The news media apparently knows nothing about guns. Even Fox News, surprisingly enough, did not have anybody on staff or on call currently to identify the firearm as being an SKS with ATI Monte Carlo furniture. If anybody can find anybody who said it before I did, please let me know. I appear to be the only one who is not calling this an AK-47 and calling it for what it is. It is currently 9.05 as of recording. This is when I called it over an hour ago. Now, what do we have as far as information pertaining to this shooter? As far as a motive, I think it's plain to see that this man was clearly disgruntled about the funding being threatened by a man who is telling his constituents, who are currently in office, to attempt to withhold financial support for the organization that he claims to have gone and fought for in a war that he claims to support a side in. I do believe that would be considered motive. Beyond that, the facts as they lie are simple. A man named Ryan Wesley Ruth attempted to shoot the former president, a presidential candidate, and probably, if statistics are correct, has just helped Trump win in a victory very easily here. I do not see this as being a negative effect towards Trump's campaign, I only see this as being more positivity for his campaign. I do not have a comment one way or the other on that subject. Now, I feel the conversation should pertain more to the motive of the shooter rather than whether or not the president requires more security. This was a success on the hands of the Secret Service. I would like that to be said. The Secret Service failed in July. They succeeded in September. Whether or not that has anything to do with new leadership we have yet to see. However, whoever the Secret Service agent was who made that shot, good on you, boy. You did good. Now, it has been a long day for me, so I am going to leave the facts where they lie as of now. I will maintain my position as being the first person to have said this, unless somebody else can prove me otherwise. I've been Drex Hawkins. Thank you very much for watching. 
God bless America, my friends.